In Ramsgate, when looking up King Street from the marketplace, the first building of note you see is the Red Lion Public House. It is generally thought to be Ramsgate's oldest pub, and has been at the heart of Ramsgate life for several hundred years. It was known as the Red Lion Ale House in 1650. Records of council meetings starting in 1717 show that until 1785, when the first town hall was built, it was used by the parish officers as their administrative base. King's Passage, which runs alongside the pub leading to Kingdom Hall, was previously the site of stables, probably associated with the Red Lion. At the time of visiting, it was a popular Ramsgate pub. A recent review on the camera website notes that it's a busy town centre pub with a mixed lunchtime clientele, while the evening is predominantly young people when loud rock music is played. I'm glad that we were lucky enough to conduct an investigation when we did. This old town pub was visited when an employee had related to me how he had been pushed by an unseen hand whilst conducting routine cellar maintenance. The landlords in 1994 were enthusiastic when questioned about a possible haunting occurring there and they related other tales associated with the property, including the witnessed apparition of a fisherman who has been seen drinking quietly in an alcove by the door. He seems to have the mischievous habit of disappearing when he's seen. The owners allowed us free access to the cellars for a full investigation. It is within the maze of rooms of all sizes that constitute the cellar where the majority of the witness phenomena have occurred. Employees current at the time of the investigation and from the past have reported cold spots which seem to move around, feelings of being watched and of being distinctly unwelcome, even malevolent perhaps considering the pushing detailed above. On occasions, having exited the cellar laden with goods for the restocking of the bar, and having le left the lights in the cellar on, staff have returned to find the lights mysteriously switched off. Once or twice, the lights have been switched off when the person was on the stairs, either ascending or descending. There have been a variety of noises emanating from the cellars as well. On one occasion, an employee was in the cellar before opening time. The pub was closed to the public, and no one else was in the building. He distinctly heard the sounds of people in the bar above, engaged in talking, walking around, and furniture moving. Upon checking the bar above, it was found empty, and the pub doors were still locked. The investigation in the cellars lasted a couple of hours during a quiet lunchtime. Before going down into the cellar, I tested the light switch located at the top of the stairs and found that it was working normally and could not be made to accidentally trip off. Down the stairs and all of us immediately noted there were cold spots which came and went with no regard to the beer coolers or heating pipes around. Yes there were colder areas caused by the beer chilling apparatus but this did not seem to be the cause for what we felt. The areas were random, moved around and came and went. There was an overall brooding feeling to the whole area. We were not welcome, and we had the uneasy feeling of being followed. In the area where the employee was pushed from behind, I lingered while my two companions took station in a room behind me. As I walked toward the area where the beer coolers were, I heard the distinct sound of someone walking quietly behind me, and I thought it was Paula, 
to whom I commented without turning round upon the sudden chill in the air at that time. After not having a reply, and the footsteps had stopped when I did, I turned around and found there was no one there behind me. My two companions were still in the room where I had left them. The sound I heard had been the definite sound of feet on the floor, the soft crunch and shush of footsteps on a light covering of concrete dust, those small concrete marbles that crunch when stood upon. It was certainly an interesting investigation, and I can only imagine what it must have been like down in the cellar, when on one's own, and the light suddenly turned out, plunging everywhere into pitch darkness. In a way, I'm just glad it didn't happen, when we were down there, that is. Then again, what wonderful proof it would have been to have experienced it.